So once you've got the packaging off, you'll see this. So have it so that the ZT light is pointing towards yourself. And then slacken a couple of turns on each of the bolts. There's four bolts. And that one. Okay, so now the left hand side, I'm going to spin it round clockwise. And I'm going to lift the upright up. And then what I'm going to do is going to make sure that this is square and touching. Just hold it with my fingers. And then I'm just going to nip it up. Nip that up. And nip that up. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this round anti-clockwise to halfway and then round to there. So if you remember, the left hand side clockwise you turn it the right hand side anti-clockwise. Then we're just going to nip these up. And what that does, there you go, it pulls everything square. So there shouldn't be any gaps between the metal here. Should be nice and together. And then just give them a once over and a good old nip. Strong bolt C, so you can give it a good old nip. And then it's not going to move and then it should be dead flat. Like that. Right now, next thing is to put the handle on. So you'll see there's a collar on the handle. So push that through the left hand side. Then what you're going to do is put another collar in. Push that on. And nip it up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook jaws. Push that on. And then if you turn it round, <coughs> you'll see there's a little grub screw hole there. Just nip that up. A nice nip. And then that's there. Okay. Right, next side. This distance is set. So don't get moving this. This is set so the distance between the two magnets is correct. Push that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the various bowl and we're going to get this piece. We're just going to spin the wheel out, the little thumb wheel out. And we're going to try and line the holes up here just by grabbing the centre. Once it's lined up, push as far back as you can and then slide this on can take a little bit of time just to get it lined up. Once you've got it, you just push it on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tighten this thumb screw. Give it a good nip that, okay? Now what you'll find is it's now pushed together and it's all lined up. And that is now ready to start tying. Just like to explain to you a couple of bits really important. So this is the hook jaws, this is the part that holds your jaws, and it, it's the, this is the heart of the system. Then you've got this side, this we call the very spool. And what the very spool does is it allows you to have variable length hook lengths. So for example, if you just tied, you put your looper line on to the prong, and the lines are lined up and you just tied the normal way, you would have a three inch hook length. 
Now, there's some fishing situations where you might want a four inch hook length, a six inch, a 12 inch, 24 inch. Right, so what we've done with this system is, when you put your loop of line on to the prong, it's on a non-return bearing, so you can give it one half rotation adds exactly an inch. And we'll put a halfway marker there. So now if I tied the hook length, the end result would be a perfect four inch hook length. And if I wanted six inch hook length, then obviously I need to give it a full rotation from the half. So it'd be one and a half rotations from the start because the circumference of this is two inches. So for every rotation, you're adding two inches. So you can literally uh, tie any length hook length within reason before that spool gets filled up. So that in a nutshell is what the very sy spool system is about. The magnetic drive system which we mentioned earlier. So the magnetic drive system, what it means is these bars, these uprights, on the Pro, they've got gears and belts and everything in there. These are solid bar. So there is no drive train. What we've got is two magnets attracted to one another, which creates a magnetic zone. So when this turns, the other side turns at exactly the same time and you've got frictionless drive on there okay and what it also enables you to do is it enables you to pull it out of the way so you can get your fingers in put the hook in nice and easy and then you've not going to worry about alignment because the magnets automatically right so i'm going to tie a hook length now i'm going to tie a long hook length when I say a long hook length, I'm going to tie a 12 inch hook length. So I've got, I'm starting with three inches. So I'm going to do, I need to add another nine inches of line to, to this. So what I'm going to do, each rotation is two. So four would give it eight. So it's four and a half turns on this wheel. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put me loop on one, two, three, four, and then the halfway marker is silver, four and a half. So now, when I tie this, it's gonna give me a 12 inch hook length. So I come round clockwise, put it through the gap, then pull the line immediately up to the top of the spade. Give it a full rotation and a half at the top, and then you just tease the line down and then it, you can come back 90 degrees to it and it will just follow the line down. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push the prong up here. You're gonna come round, all the way round and you're gonna release the tension and release the button, gently. Then what you're going to do, snip that off, wet the knot, and push that in fully, and then you're going to grab the barrel, and you're just going to finally tighten the knot. Push the tag end up, and you see there, if you just give it a tweak, that's already tight now. Okay? So then what I do, I grab the hook, like that, and then turn the very spool locking mechanism anti-clockwise and pull it up. And then you can peel the hook length off like that. Just give it a wipe because it's got a little bit of memory off the actual spool. And then got a 12 inch hook length. Mm -hmm.